this is Dave Jones from VideoFXUniverse.com and today's tutorial is in 3D Studio Max 9 and what we're going to be creating is an earth and moon now as you can see here I've already got my um, one that I made earlier now if I just do a quick um, render of this I'll show you what we're going to be making and there we go as you can see we've got our earth, we've got our clouds, we've got an atmosphere and we've also got the moon now this tutorial isn't going to take five minutes because this is 3D Studio Max after all and things do take a long time to uh, put together even if you know what you're doing it still doesn't happen in five minutes okay right first off um, if you want to create your earth you need some textures now as you can see I'm in Google here now if you go to the images section once you've selected the images, type in moon map. Right, and as you can see, we've got quite a lot of images of moon maps in that. Click on this one here, and you'll see that we have quite a lot of textures on here, and we've got everything that we need. Basically, what you need to get is uh, the earth texture, the earth clouds, and the moon texture map. Now basically all these are, are you know, the planet Earth unwrapped to make a flat Im image. So basically this is what, we, um, what we're going to be using. So once you've downloaded these, uh, we, we come back into um, our composition. Um, as you can see, like I say, I've wrapped it all up into the moon. I'm just going to reset this now. And uh, now what we need to do is create a sphere. So click on the sphere, bring it into your viewport. Um, add quite a few segments to it so it's nice and smooth uh, 36 does seem to be quite fine press C to zoom extent and what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit closer here as well ok um, secondly what we need to do is um, clone this so if you just uh, right click the actual um, object and click clone make a copy ok and then what we want to do is uh, scale it up slightly hold on, just make sure that it's selected yep, sphere 2 Select and just scale it up very very slightly ok do it each f three ways on the um, scale uh, gizmo so you basically just want to make it slightly bigger right ok now Right, now what you want to do is name your sphere 2 and name that clouds. Okay. Um, select sphere 1, it's just underneath it, and we're going to name that surface. Okay. Right, select our cloud layer and right click it and click hide selection. Alright, so that's hidden. So basically, we've just got our earth surface. Now, um, now that we've got our earth surface, I think I might need to add a few more segments to that because it uh, needs to be uh, a little bit more smooth than it is. Right, that's looking fine. Um, press M to bring up your material options. Select an empty slot and then select maps, diffuse colour and bitmap. Right, mine are saved here now as you can see I've uh, downloaded the images from that website that I showed you earlier and I'm going to click on earth view open and apply and also click this button to show in the viewport okay um, there's going to do a few more things for, um, in here as well first so we're not done just yet so click on our parent button click this and hold it and we're going to make a copy and move it down to the specular level copy and we're going to do it again for bump now with bump we're going to change the bump height to about 10 right now that that's done we'll scroll up to the top here and we're going to change the glossiness to 25 right let's just do a quick RAM preview on this and see what we get back with so let's have a look not too bad let me just uh, rotate it round so we see more land okay do it again 
There we go. We've got basic uh, planet Earth. Uh, there's no um, sort of um, effects added to it or, or anything like that. And it looks pretty plain. Okay, so we need to add a few more things to this now. And uh, we're going to start by um, adding the clouds. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, right click, unhide by, um, unhide all, sorry. Right, as you can see, we've now got our cloud layer that's appeared over the top of our Earth. So our Earth has completely disappeared. So if you just do a quick render, you'll see that, yeah, it's back to the sphere again. All right, let's just close this down. Right, now select your second empty slot and do the same thing again. Uh, actually, you can just you don't actually need to open up the maps. But you can just click on this button here, which is the diffuse button also. Bitmap and Earth Clouds. Right, you need to do a few more things with this. Okay, so if we just go back up, open up our maps layout. Right, as you can see, it's been added in here because um, we automatically did that in the um, in the parent folder up the, up the top here because we click this button here and it automatically adds it down here. Now we're going to do the same again, but we're going to change a few things. So first off, we're going to click and hold, move this down to the opacity, copy, and again to the bump copy uh, keep the bump at 30 that should be perfectly fine right and go to the top and set the color to 100 right what you need to do is make sure that your cloud layer is selected so just to make sure clouds select and uh, then you click on this button here to apply it and as you can see if I just do a, uh, a quick render, we have our clouds over our planet. Now the problem is the clouds are a bit too high. They're actually um, coming out way out of the planet too much. So uh, to change this, uh, just slightly um, press this button down a few, not too many, but a few, just so that they're basically sitting just above the uh, the planet Earth. And I think that looks quite good indeed. Yes, that's that's brilliant.